Alrighty guys, so here we have the Vaha Evolution Top for the iPad. And uh, you guys know me, I love I, I love Vaha. Vaha is my favorite case company of all time, leather case company that is. They do an excellent job on, all the, on the craftsmanship in all their cases and the Evolution Top for the iPad is no exception to that. So let's go ahead and let me show you the details of this uh, and tell you guys what I basically think about this product, okay? So let's just go ahead and start off with usually the low point uh, of this product, of most of Aha's products that many people view it, is that the price, okay? This retails for $150, okay? Let's just get that out of the way right now. Now this is a completely customizable case. So on these cases, you can choose the uh, exterior leather and the interior leather. Let me pop this open and show you what that looks like. Nice little neon green, really cool. So you basically can customize, you can pick the color, the outside and the inside color. It is $150, which is quite expensive for the average person. But uh, I think the craftsmanship, these are all handmade. It takes 25 days, I believe, 25 or 35 days, I'm not sure. It takes 25 or 35 days to have this actually made. So someone is actually putting this together. It's handmade, okay? This isn't something that's being produced in China that's being slapped together by a machine or anything like that, okay? This is all completely customizable, handmade product. So you're going to pay a premium for that price, for that, you know, for this product, okay? This is how it goes. Anyways, let's get right into the product. I want to just get that out of the way because usually that's uh, most people's biggest gripe about Vaha's products is they're too expensive. So let's go ahead and start out with that. So now that we got that out of the way, let's go ahead and talk about the actual product. Now the craftsmanship, like I said, is very nice. If this very top part here, it comes snaps right off. And uh, basically you just use this whenever you're stowing it away in your bag or whatever, you're just using this to completely uh, to protect the screen. That's all it's really used for. When you're not using it, all you gotta do is pop it in the back. Snaps right to the back of the case, and then there you go. So it stows away right there. You can continue using your iPad while it's in the back. When you're done with it, pop it off, and then you pop it on the front. Now I'm not sure, guys, if after some time this these uh, these pieces right here may be loose. They may loosen up a little bit, and they may not grip as well. I don't really know. I mean, only time will tell for that. But I think uh, for, for from what I've seen from Vaha's cases for the iPhone with this type of kind of design that hooks over the top. It usually is pretty stiff and it does a really good job of staying on there. It doesn't get too loose. So I'm just going to put that out there just so you guys can think about that. You know. So while this is on here, uh, a lot of stuff is actually accessible. So when you have the, the cover being covered up, you can still get to the headphone jack. You can still get to the standby switch. The uh, the lock switch on the side for the rotation is uh, accessible with the volume, volume control right there. Move it to the bottom. The speaker is uh, open right there. It's not being completely covered up. The dock connector, of course, is being covered up because the thing is right in the middle of that. And that's basically all that you need to get to, those, those, uh, those three things right there. So when you pop it off, when you're using it, the uh, chrome bevel edge is not really being covered up at all. As you can see the edges there, it's pretty much flush with the bevel right there, the chrome. I'm going to go ahead and give you guys the close-ups of the leather. Really nice pebbled leather work here. It smells really good. I don't know, it sounds kind of creepy, but I love the smell of real leather. And this is definitely real leather. These cases are made in Argentina. They're made of genuine Argentinian leather. And uh, it is very nice. Very, very durable. I've used a lot of Vaja cases before. They, they've lasted me a very long time. And I have no doubt that this case will last you a while too. So, let's talk about some negatives. The first off, I don't really like how these are two separate pieces. I kind of wish that they were attached somehow. I'm not sure if that maybe if that would be like a flip style case. I'm sure Vaha will come out with a version of that or like a folio. Uh, but you know, just the fact that it's separate, it's, there's two separate pieces. I don't know. It can be a little bit uh, annoying to have to deal with this this separate piece right here. Not a huge deal, but just one thing to keep in mind. The other thing to keep in mind, it is it is a, a little bit. So you can see that the shape of this. It is domed a little bit concave, so that way it can snap to the back of your uh, your iPad. So that means when you snap to the front of your iPad, that's flat. It's like a bubble in there. Uh, which is a little weird. So let me, when you snap it on here, there's a little bit of play in it. It just seems like it. it, it I don't know. It, I think it's kind of a thing where you you may it plays kind of tricks on you. You feel like it's gonna fall off or something because there's so much space in here. But I guess you can't. You can't honestly. You can't make it flat or else it wouldn't snap onto the back of it. But it just there's a lot of space in the middle here. So one thing to keep in mind. I think while it's on here though, it, it'll still it'll stay gripped on pretty well. So if you were to drop this. I think the top part would stay on there. I don't think it would flop off or, or pop off unless you just uh, it was to be scraped off or something like that. But it does a really good job of sticking on there really well, and it will definitely protect your iPad. So if you guys uh, keep your iPad inside your book bag, your you know your purse, your your uh, laptop bag, whatever it is, uh, this will definitely keep it from getting scratched up on the screen. If you have any other things that are in there, it'll do a good job of protecting it. So, like the only minus, like I said, guys, for a lot of you guys, you may not want to purchase this because it is 
quite expensive. $150 is a lot to pay, but like I said, completely customizable, handmade, genuine Argentinian leather. What more can you say besides that, guys? If you guys happen to own this product, why don't you post a comment below and tell us what you think about it. And uh, if you're watching us on Buy Me an iPhone or on YouTube, either way. And that's going to be it for me today, guys. This has been another iPad review brought to you by BuyMeAnIPhone.com.